Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Teresa. Alright y'all, today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to put together a compilation of all the Easter decor that I made last year and put it all into one video. I'm going to show you a lot of cute ways that we can make a lot of bunnies and some carrots and a lot of other stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. hope you get lots of inspiration and ideas and I hope you'll try your hand at making some of these because they are all a lot of fun and easy to make. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it. And also, go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Okay, the first project we're going to work on is going to be some cute stuffed rabbits. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I love to trace around a pattern, hot glue, and stuff it and make stuffed things. I've made hearts, I've made bunnies, and in this video I'm going to show you also how to make some cute stuffed carrots. So you just get any kind of fabric you want, you want to trace around, you know, your bunny pattern. You can get a lot of them, um, a little traceable patterns. You can Google them and, and print them off, um, off of Google and get free ones. And um, you just go around and cut it out. And then I'm going to go around, I'm going to hot glue it. And then I'm going to leave a space to where I can add the filler. And then I will hot glue that space. And then I'm going to show you a couple ways of, a um, couple of things that we can make that would be really cute to embellish the bunny. Okay, now we got the bunny finished now let's make some cute embellishments for it the first one i'm going to take some dollar tree it's kind of a wired edged uh, burlap type ribbon and you just want to hot glue down one of the ends and then the other end we're going to leave it you know uh, raw and then you want to go in and take um, a little strand from the center and you're going to pull it and this is going to make it you know pull together and it's going to make a cute little rosette and this can, you know, serve for our little bunny tail. The second little embellishment I want to show you is the messy bow, and I've made these in a lot of my videos, but you just take your strips of ribbon, lace, um, you know, uh, fabric strips, whatever you have, you want to just lay those on top of each other, and just, I just use some twine to tie them together, and then you just kind of want to, you know, sort them out to where they look like a bow, and then I will go around and trim off the edges just to make it more full, and this can make a really cute embellishment to put on our bunny too, and I will use this little messy bow again later on in the video on another little project I'm going to show you.
Okay, moving along to project number four is going to be the stuffed carrot. And again, we want to make a traceable pattern. And I just made a pattern. I kind of freehanded it. You just kind of want it to be in a, a kind of a triangle shape. And then I'm going to round it a little bit up at the top. So your top will be, you know, bigger round. It'll be rounded. And you, you know, want, of course, the bottom to be pointed. And you can see I did six inches across the top. And that's going to serve as my pattern. And you can take any fabric you want. I'm just showing the, you this little buffalo check and you want to do, you know, your two sides together, lay your pattern down and you're going to want to trace around it. Once you get it traced around, then I'm going to go around and uh, take some pins and I'm going to secure my two pieces of fabric together and then I'm going to cut, cut the pattern out. Now after we've got the carrot cut out, now we're going to want to put our two pieces together. I'm going to use some pins again to secure it. And then I'm going to use hot glue and I'm just going to glue around the edges. Now you are not going to want to glue all the way up to the top of the carrot. You'll see in just a minute that I'm going to, you know, take a little um, ruler. And um, you just want to go probably, you know, I guess about three-fourths of the way up on the carrot because what we want to do is we want to leave enough up at the top so we can cut um, the carrot tops and I'm just going to use um, the fabric and cut it in slits to make my carrot tops. You can make the carrot tops though you know using different things if you want to. If you don't want to use the fabric there's so many ways you can make these carrots but you can also you know add raffia to the top. You can add some greenery for your for your carrot tops. You know whatever you choose and now you can see I've got it glued up to the desired place that I want it and now I'm going to add some filler to it and then I'm going to tie it off with some twine. Once I'm, I'm getting it tied off then I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut some slits in the top of that fabric and that's going to make my carrot greens. You can add any kind of embellishments you want to to these. These make really cute, you know, tear tray fillers. You can put these in baskets. There's so many different ways that you can style these cute little stuffed carrots. And I'm going to show you now how I stage them in different ways that I embellished them and different fabrics that I use just to give you a little bit more inspiration. Once I got my carrot tied off, I'm now going to go in and trim the tops of the little carrot greens. I'm going to trim that off and then I'm going to um, add a little button for the embellishment for this one. So this one is embellished with some twine and some buttons. And like I said, I'm going to give you all some more inspiration on how you can embellish even more. If you like this video so far, I hope you'll hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to. Okay, hey, Project 5. Project 5 was a really popular um, item that I did and I just took some scrap wood pieces and um, I'm, I'm going to chalk paint them and I'm going to distress them and I'm going to just put some various uh, little rabbit traceable um, patterns that I had and you can do any kind of shape rabbit that you want and I did some long ways and I did some that were kind of um, horizontal and some that were vertical and then you just want to go around trace your bunnies whatever kind of patterns you have and like I say you can google some and you can print some out or you can also take a piece of printer paper and put it over your computer screen and you can trace over um, the the pattern on your computer screen I've done that too and then just take whatever kind of 
of paper you have. There's some songbook paper on there. There's scrapbook paper. You know, whatever your theme is. And I just painted mine assorted colors. Then I got Ben to go out with his drill bit. And we just drilled a little hole in it. And then I added a hanger to them. And then I'm going to show you some ways of how you can embellish them. Okay, moving on to project six, I'm going to make some really cute little flower balls. You just want to take some assorted florals. You can get these at Dollar Tree, and then you just want some of those little styrofoam balls. You can also purchase those at Dollar Tree. This is a very fun, very easy project. You just want to take your little floral heads, and with a little bit of hot glue, you just want to, you know, poke a hole in your styrofoam ball and with a little bit of hot glue. It secures them a little bit better, and just stick them in. And I'm going to show you a different way of how we can use this little flower ball here in a little bit on a different project. But these make such great little pieces that you can add to a centerpiece, you can add into a vase, and you can see the little cute boots back there of how, how well, you know. And you don't even have to cover it all the way around with the little floral balls. I just went around to where you couldn't see the bottom. And that little stuffed heart... Um, I've got that in the long version of the video, so if you want to, you know, see how I made it, um, you can, um, I'll have links to all my long version videos down in my description box. But I'm just pairing the, now these um, floral balls with the little scrap wood bunnies that I made, and I'm just going to let y'all see the different ways that you can embellish them and, and how well they pair together for Easter and spring. Okay, project number seven, and I don't really know what to even call this. This is going to be some little twine carrots that I'm going to make, and we're going to use some painter sticks, and I'm going to end up using eight. I'm showing here that I've used six, but I added on at the end because I, I felt like it needed to be a little bit um, wider for my for my carrots that I was using. But basically, we're just going to make kind of a ship lap. Um, look background and then we're going to make some cute little twine carrots out of some you know pieces of scrap cardboard I think I used a cereal box <laughs> for my carrot pattern and then I'm just going to you know wrap some twine around them and then we're just going to apply them to to our little background here now I'm going to just freehand a carrot pattern and you can, you know, make yours as large or, you know, um, small as you want. But I just made, you know, different little, little shapes and sizes. And then I'm going to add some little carrot greens to the top. And then I'm going to embellish, um, you know, my piece. And you, you'll see at the end of how, how I embellish it. I wrapped some twine around it and I added a messy bow to it. Okay, the background for my carrots, like I told you, I ended up using eight paint sticks. And as you can see, I, I would glued mine, but you could also use hot glue if you wanted to. And I secured them on the back with some popsicle sticks. Here, I'm taking some Distress Ink. Um, this is before I realized I could use coffee and coffee grinds. I use that a lot uh, now in my projects. But if you are interested in the Distress Ink that I use, that will also be in my Amazon store. But I just painted it Waverly uh, white chalk paint, and then I went over it with my Distress Ink, and I got it distressed, you know, it, to my desired liking. And then I'm just showing you here of how we can make some carrot tops. I'm taking some raffia, and I'm taking some of the natural color and some green, and I'm just showing you how you just kind of, you know, bunch it up together and how we can just make those little carrot greens at the top. And then I'm just going to, um, you know, adhere these to my board, you know, where I want them. I'll position them on the board where I want them, and then I'll secure them all with hot glue, and then I'm going to add a messy bow to it, and I'm going to wrap it a little bit of twine around it. You just want to be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. 
Alright, project number eight. This was another very popular one. We're just going to call this large orange burlap carrot. But we're basically just going to take one of those signs from Dollar Tree. That was a Halloween one. They, I think they put one of these out every season for every holiday. So I just took one of those. I used some craft paint. I painted it my desired color. Then I'm going to add some distressing to it. And you know, this was before I... Um, Realized you could stain with coffee and coffee filter, um, coffee grinds, but um, I use that distress sink, and I have that linked in my Amazon store. If you're interested in it, I'll have my Amazon store link down below. And this orange burlap that I'm using in this video will also be in my Amazon store. So uh, you just cut out your your carrot pattern, and I just freehanded it out of the orange burlap. And you you know, of course, you use two pieces, and we're gonna hot glue them together, and then we're gonna stuff it with filler. Okay, now that we've got it stuffed, now we're going to want to add our carrot tops our carrot tops to it and i'm just going to use a little boxwood pick i think these come from walmart very inexpensive and that's what i'm going to use for my carrot greens and then i'm going to apply it to the board that i distressed and add a bow to it and it made such a cute spring and easter decor piece I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. And if you want to see how I make the little envelope, that's in the long version of the video. And also, stay tuned if you want to see how I make the little pink bunny tray. That's coming up soon. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do Okay, moving on to project 9. This is going to be a little initial bunny that I found at Dollar General last year. I paid $3 for it or maybe $3.50 and of course that's not my initial but we're going to put that flower ball that we made in the previous um, project. We're going to put that on this little bunny and really um, add to this little bunny and there is a flower ball that you saw me make earlier and we're just going to use some hot glue and I'm going to add that over the M and then I'm going to add some cute little embellishments, embellishments to it and this makes a great little hanger to hang. I'm going to add some twine as a hanger and this makes such a cute little hanger. You can put this on you know um, use it as a wreath. You could hang this over, you know, a little blanket ladder. You could also, you know, put this over your doorknob. There's so many uses for this little rabbit. So I think he turned out really cute. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on 
I styled this piece with a blanket ladder that I made. And if you want to see how I made this ladder, it will also be in the long version of this video. And I'll give you complete instructions on how I made it. It was very simple to make. And I also will show you how I distress and decoupage the books down below. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. Hey, project number 10. Now we're going to take some assorted trays and all of these came from Dollar Tree and I'm showing the different various sizes that I had and all we're going to do is we're going to go out and do some really cute little uh, bunny rabbit um, printables. Download those and we're going to decoupage them on these trays. The first one as you can see I spray painted that pink and I'm going to do one you know and I'll, I'm going to do several in different colors. I did one in kind of a seafoam green and I think I did one in white and those um, of how I made all those will be in the longer version of the video but I'm showing you how to make this one because this one was the most popular. So I'm just going around the edges, that little beaded edge of this tray, which added a lot of detail to it, but I'm just kind of bringing that out. I'm using a little bit of brown craft paint, and you can see I take a damp um, paper towel, and I'm going to wipe, you know, on it, and I'm just kind of giving it some distress around the edges, just to give it that little extra detail. Okay, now that I got my tray the way I want it, I went out and I downloaded this little bunny. And I'm just going to cut him out. I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I'm going to apply him to the tray. Now I'm just going to let you sit back and see how I style the tray. And if you want to see how I made these bottles and that pearl garland, that will be in the long version of the video also. And the tulips you see, those are also in my Amazon store. And this year I've ordered some in cream. So if you haven't ordered these tulips yet, you need to go out, check them out. They're absolutely beautiful. And mine are still really pretty from last year. Okay, we've decoupaged some trays. Now let's do some plates. 
So we're going to take some plates. These are some just assorted plates I got. A lot of them come from Dollar Tree. You want to just do your little bunny printables, print out the ones that you like, and you can Google, and um, there's all kinds out there. And there's a lot that you can purchase off of Etsy. Very inexpensive, too. And I just took them, and you just cut them out, and then I'm just going to apply them to the plates using some Mod Podge. Project 12 is a really easy but super cute little um, craft and this is just a little wooden plaque that I got in the craft center at Walmart. It was very inexpensive. I took another little bunny printable and I'm going to Mod Podge him onto this little um, plaque that I chalk painted and then I'm going to add a little bit of embellishment to it and this makes a great addition to your tiered trays or any of your little Easter spaces. Here's another easy um, craft. Just take some a pack of those little miniature little canvases from Dollar Tree. And again, apply your bunnies with your Mod Podge onto the canvases. And then there's so many ways that you can embellish these. And you'll see I added little bows and some of them I added some little rhinestones and little pearls to them. And these also were just super cute. Okay, project number 14. This is really easy, but this one is a really um, fun one to do. Just take some aluminum foil. You just want to shape it into a carrot, and you want to take whatever color twine you have, hot glue, wrap it around. You don't have to hot glue it all the way around. Just hot glue it in the spaces that you need it as you're wrapping your twine. Add some greenery to it. I added some little lavender sprigs as my carrot greens. And I add a little bit of raffia and a few little embellishments. And look how cute these little carrots came out. I'm hoping to make some more of these this year. And now I'm going to pair them with my plates that I made and my little canvases. Now here I'm going to take a Dollar Tree. Um, this was a, kind of a little large egg they had last year. I just took some craft paint. I painted it on orange. I decoupaged a little bunny on it and added some greenery and raffia to it. And look how cute it turned out. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where. I'm coming home to you. Project 16, here is these little um, canvas bags. I got these at Dollar Tree last year, I think, or maybe Dollar General. They were a dollar, and I just took them. You just stuff them with a little bit of your filler, and then I added a little messy bow to them. And here is some little decoupage wooden spoons. You can get wooden spoons at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. They're very inexpensive. I chalk painted them my assorted colors. Then, again, take whatever printables you want. I used some florals and some little bunnies and just... Just decoupage, you know, using some Mod Podge, just put those on your wooden spoons. All of these little things, I think, make such great little accent pieces to your tear trays or whatever space that you're decorating for spring or Easter. And if you want to see how I repurpose these cheesecake pans to make this tear tray, that will be in the long version of the video. If
all the magic places in the world I've been to. This is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Okay, y'all, Project 18, this is the last one. If y'all are he still here, thank you so much. This is going to be a really cute one. This is going to be some sock bunnies. And basically, you can you can make this out of tube socks. I'm using the sleeve off of a shirt that I was no longer wearing. And basically, we're just going to get some filler. And I use rice. Now, if you don't want to use rice for this, you can also use Epsom salt to, to make your bunny. Now, if you're using the sleeve of a top like I am, you'll want to hot glue uh, the bottom of it. So, you'll have one end that's open and one end that's closed up. And, of course, you're using a sock. You won't have to do this. Okay, once we have the bottom of the base of it, we have that, that glued all the way across. And we've got it secured. Now, we're going to put some rice in it. And we're going to make the first little, um, I guess, level of our bunny. Because we're going to want two levels to this one. And one's going to be his body. And the next one's going to be his head. So, I just went in with a little funnel. And I'm just going to add some rice to mine. But like I say, you can also use Epsom salt. And Epsom salt, you can get it a lot of times, you know, in different flavors. You can get lav lavender scented. So, I'm sure the Epsom salt would actually smell really good, too. And you just kind of want to judge you know as you go depending on whatever your stuff and if you're using the sleeve or a sock it's just going to depend on how many cups of rice or or filler you're going to need and you just kind of eyeball it but once you get it the size you want it and you shape it then we're just going to tie that that little body we're going to tie it off with some twine you could also i've seen people use ponytail holders you can also use rubber bands for this if you want to do that Now, once we got the base shape, now we're going to go in and we're going to make his little head. And I'm just, again, going to do the same same thing. Just put enough filler in it to, to shape its head. And its little head will want to be smaller, of course, than the body. And once you get the head the way you want it, we're going to tie it off the same way. Now I'm going to trim off some of the sleeve. And, you know, you can trim down like this and make it some ears. And I'm going to add some pop cleaners in, in it just to give it a little bit more support. But you can do it this way to, to add these little ears. And um, this makes such a cute little bunny. And then you can just add whatever you want to for its face. I use some buttons, as you can see, for its eyes. And then I'm going to make some whiskers. And, you know, just use whatever you have on hand and added a cute little floppy bow to it. And you can see here, I haven't added the pop cleaners yet to its ears. They're really floppy. So you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I'm just kind of showing you different options. And I made his little ears and his nose out of a piece of burlap. And, you know, I just cut out, free-handed, cut out a little nose shape. And then I'm just going to add a few strands of that burlap for, for her whiskers. And I think these little bunnies turned out so cute. After I got her little eyes and nose on, then I made her little mouth, and I made her mouth out of the same burlap strand that I made her whiskers, and I just formed it to make her little mouth. Now I'm going to show you how um, how cute they turned out, and I added a little pocket to it. I just cut a little piece of uh, the top that I was using, and I just hot glued it on to make a pocket, and then I just put a little carrot in there, and I gave her some little buttons as embellishments. The one on the left is made out of drop cloth. You'll see how I made it in the long version of the video. And also, I'm going to show you one that I made out of pantyhose. Because at the time, we did not have any tube socks tube socks available um, to repurpose. So, I got creative and thought, what else can I make them out of? So, I tried a piece of, um, a pair of pantyhose. So, you can see that one in the front. So, there's so many options for these little bunnies. So much fun to make. So, I hope y'all make some of these for Easter. 
y'all, this is going to wrap up the abbreviated version of my Easter dec uh, decor project from last year. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And the longer versions, like I said, will be down in my description box. Until the next video, y'all, I hope you have a great week. And I will see y'all in the next one. Love y'all.